Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Tim Text TV. I'm Simon and I'm going to show you guys how Apple's new iOS 4 compares with Google's Android version 2.2, aka Froyo. Both of these operating systems have just recently been released, so we thought it's a good idea to compare what Apple and Android has updated in their latest OS. Okay, let's start off by talking about the interface. Here on Froyo, you have five pages for you to organize your widgets. The center page, being the home page, is a designated home page for when you press the home button. And then also new in Froyo, you get the uh, dedicated call button, and also the browser button is now fixed on the bottom, along with the menu button. For iOS 4, as you can see, there's a much difference com when uh, compared to version 3.0. The most obvious aspect being the folders here, but I'll talk about that later on. You can have up to 11 pages uh, filled with apps. So both phones offer sufficient space for you to organize your downloaded content. Now another interesting feature is the uh, screen orientation lock. For Android, uh, they've always had this feature since version 1.5, which is Cupcake. And as you can see here, this is the auto-rotate screen. If I uncheck this, uh, it turns off the auto-rotate, so it keeps it in the uh, portrait mode. Now for the iOS 4, uh, Apple just added this feature in this version of the OS, and it's available over here. And if I press it, it turns on the portrait orientation lock. A much anticipated feature in iOS 4 was the ability to uh, multitask. As smartphones are becoming more and more powerful, consumers are demanding more from their handsets. Multitasking is definitely one of those features that are becoming a standard in modern day smartphones. Now, to perform uh, multitask on the iOS 4, just simply uh, double tap the home button, and this brings up a little bar here. This is all the uh, applications that I've opened before. Let's say I'm entering notes, I'm typing the notes or something. And then, let's say I want to uh, make a call right now. I'll just go to jump to phone. And I'll just call and pretend I'm done calling someone now. And uh, to jump back to the notes, I'll just go back here. And you, as you can see, my notes is still here. Now, for the Froyo, uh, you can perform multitasking but simply by holding the home button. And this brings up a menu here. Let's say uh, I'm going to listen to some music. Okay. And then I want to jump back out, right? So I'll hold the home button and go to the calculator. Uh, okay, I'm done calculating, so I'm going to go back to the music app. And there we go. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, um, I would talk about the folders. Well, it's pretty new in the uh, iOS 4, and I think it's a pretty good feature. Um, basically, you can drag the uh, apps together, and you can create a folder to group uh, similar apps together. Or, you can, if you don't want to group similar apps together, you can just call it like a custom folder name, it's like my stuff, something like that, and we, cre uh, we created a folder. Now, in one folder, you can have up to uh, 12 apps in total, and to drag your uh, application back out, um, you just simply hold down that folder, go into it, and Try to back up. Now for the Froyo, uh, you could add widgets like before. You just simply hold down on a blank area, tap widgets, and let's add the music. And here we go. Now for Froyo on Android phones, that is, uh, you can actually fr uh, move the app freely. About whereas on the iPhone, it's pretty much fixed. Now, in terms of the uh, customizability, um, the iOS 4 doesn't really offer a lot unless you jailbreak it, of course. But let's take a look at what the uh, standard 
things you can customize. Uh, here we have the sound. Uh, you can set it to vibrate or stuff like that. Uh, the ringtone. And then let's see. And then another aspect is the wallpaper. Um, this is actually new in iOS 4. You can actually set one of your own pictures to be your uh, your wallpaper. Before that, you could only do this from a jailbroken iPhone. For Froyo, um, you get the same wallpaper, the ringtone, stuff like that. Let's see, settings, sound. So you have ringtone here. You get little tidbits of other uh, settings that you can play around with. So, uh, wallpaper right here. So you get live wallpapers or normal wallpapers, or all, you can also choose from your uh, gallery, like the photos you've taken, stuff like that. Now. For the Froyo, you can actually um, install third-party software to further customize your phone also.